The following video demonstrates the use of model ethics, high accuracy, substrate scalable RLC models in Microwave Office. A bandpass filter design is described along with comparisons to measured results. We'll look at various features of the CLR models along the way. This pre-built schematic shows the microstrip interconnects for the bandpass filter. There are series LC resonators on the left hand side and on the right hand side and then a parallel LC resonator in the center. A microstrip substrate definition that is referenced by the microstrip elements and the monolithics models has already been defined for the 16 mil thick Rogers 4003 substrate. The models are accessed from the XML library here and the first part that we'll select is the ATC 600L uh, 0402 capacitor. Now the value that we want to choose is uh, 1 picofarad. So we'll place that into the schematic and then we can double click on the model and specify sub 1 so that it will reference the substrate definition and if we want we can also open the vendor help and that will open up a, a data sheet for the model so we'll begin by looking at some simulated results and I will pull up a schematic that has the uh, complete um, assembly here and one thing that I'll point out one of the features in the models is the ability to specify the pad dimensions so this gives the pad width the pad length and the pad gap so if I simulate this full schematic and then I can go over here and open a uh, graph that has my predefined measurements I can see my S21 in the pink curve, S11 in the blue curve and so these are simulated results showing a center frequency of about 2 gigahertz. Now if I want to compare my simulated data to measurement data I can create links to my measurement data files and in this case I have measurements on two samples of the filter and run my simulation again and then I can look at a comparison of S11 in this plot and S21 in this plot The CLR library models also enable statistical simulations to be performed using the tolerance parameter. So I'm going to go back to my original schematic that we were looking at and if I select this model and I go to statistics I'll set a tolerance on the capacitor value of 15% and now I can go up to simulate and run a yield analysis. I can go back and look at the results again to see the effects of running 50 iterations with a 15% tolerance on just that one capacitor value. That concludes this brief demonstration of the Monolithics CLR library and if you're interested in a free trial version of the library please go to www.monolithics.com slash mvp slash awr.